Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Beckett, and we are playing all the mod 6 to the sky. To the sky! Anyway. We have been using the heck out of this thing. Um, right now we're making spider seeds. But we've, uh... We've, it might be easier just to go downstairs. Um, show the progress. We have managed to get ourselves not just squid seeds, but creeper seeds, fish seeds, zombie seeds, skeleton seeds, all out of that uh, that thing up there for mystical agriculture. We were able to get cow seeds the normal way, and we just crafted slime seeds, and we might have a little bit of essence now. Oh, I'm going to have to set this thing to, uh, to extract the pipe here. Now, it won't automatically go into the system because the, all the drawers are locked, which is on purpose. And we have to put it in here the first time, and then it'll automatically move it in there for us. Now, today, there are my jetpacks still on. There are a number of seeds that are going to be a little trickier to get. And we're going to start, I think, at least attempt to start, with some end seeds. Now, we haven't been to the end. We haven't even been to the nether. Um, but it's my understanding that we can get end stone by, uh, by dipping glowstone. Yep, sure enough. So we're going to get ourselves some endstone here, and then we're going to, we're just going to sift it and see what we get. Now, if we're going to sift it, we have to crush it. So, uh, you know, we're just going to go ahead and put that much down. We were one short, and I got a regular hammer for this one. And we got the compressed hammers for this one. I'm going to turn this off. It's starting to... <laughs> it's cool. Don't get me wrong. But it's a little bit obnoxious. I think I have my sieve and... Well, a sieve. And another netherite mesh sitting in here. And I'm just going to do this first one by hand. So that I get an idea what we're actually going to get. And, uh how much of this I should really uh, sift up. There's a chorus flower right off. I'm happy about that. We need that. Okay, looks like it's going to be mostly chorus flowers and ender pearls, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't want to spend all my time hammering this stuff. I think we might need flint in a pulverizer to deal with this. Oh, nope. Maybe I was just putting the, the wrong kind of in. Well, we'll throw the flint in, let it use it as The flint will sometimes net you a little bit extra. So it's good to have. Now we're going to go ahead and replace some of this. Like, what? I don't think we specifically need the cactus seeds anymore, because I think we can craft that with the nature seeds that we've already... Yeah, okay, we can craft this stuff, so... So let's go ahead and replace our friend the cactus with some endstone and some chorus flowers. And yeah, look at that. Look at it go. That's quite cool. That's quite cool. I think we've got just about everything that we need. We just got to craft a little bit of purple. And we'll take the chorus fruit and have it set to smelt up in the uh, in the furnace over there. You can see it's already working on it. And we should have everything else. No end stone? I thought, oh, it's, it's in, my <laughs> in my inventory. Right, right. Now, what kind of... Oh, it uses Imperium. 
Okay, so we'll need four tertium. Now we'll need 16 tertium and 64 prudentia. This, this thing is, uh, is not the best with, with mystical light. What happened to the master crystal? Where'd my master? Is it up? It's, it's, it's in the oven. It's in the oven. Crap, don't it up here. There it is. It doesn't play well with, uh, with mystical agriculture, the refined storage system here. But that's okay, because we can kind of take it. Like, if you program it, it, it thinks it wants um, to make 64 prudentium, for instance. It would think, it thinks it needs 64 master infusion crystals. And we got one Imperium. Oh, we had three Imperium just sitting there. Whoops. Hit escape too many times. All right, let's make these. Fancy. All right, we're about to do our first four Supremiums. Finally got rid of that one crystal. No, do we have Supremium farmland? We do. Now, the first thing... <laughs> What I want to do here is take these niotic crystals and uh, make seeds out of them because because I want to upgrade our uh, our power storage. Hey, excuse me. So I haven't even killed a hostile mob yet. I haven't even seen one. Um, and I wonder how far we can go. Without uh, without having to see one, I'm like maybe we would be able to not kill hostile mobs until we have to fight the Ender Dragon. And to facilitate that, I have put another. I'm um, I'm I'm getting ready to do some stuff here. Is what I'm doing. Um, we're gonna need a lot of soul sand, and the uh, the setup with the sand and the pipes. It's very funny. But it's uh, it's a little bit slow, and whoops, that's not where I want to be. I want to be here. And uh, and I also don't want to sift the stuff manually, and I don't want to deal with putting them in the other sieves and keeping up with them. So uh, too much manual for uh, for this. So we're gonna we're gonna mostly automate it. Uh, we've already made a recipe for uh, crushed. Oh no, we haven't. We'll have to do that too. We're gonna make a recipe for crushed endstone. <laughs> well, I already did that. I guess I did not. Um, there we go. Oh, that's compressed. We better, uh, that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and rewrite this with the, uh, recipe for actually crushed netherrack. Instead of crushed compressed, because I did not make an automatic heavy. We may want for Insta. So, say we'll start with uh, with some soul sand, and we'll craft up a whole bunch of this, and then we're gonna craft up a whole bunch of crushed netherite. And I'm doing this to get Ender Pearls and also I hope Vibranium. And once we've built up some of the End Essence from the End Seeds we made, we'll uh, we'll throw Crushed End Stone into the mix and we'll get Ender Pearls and Unobtainium, Unobtainium from there. 
So uh, I don't mind just taking it into the gold chest, but doing all that uh, all that other stuff to get into the drag. Speaking of things I don't want to do, I don't want to kill a whole bunch of turtles. So we're going to see if we can find another way to uh, to get turtle seeds. Now I don't know where I should put this down. Bait won't work in this environment. The bait will work in that environment. Okay. We have uh, some sea pickles from, uh, I want to say, using the, uh, where'd it go? We have some, we have three sea pickles, and I'll be very disappointed if I lose one. Is that it? There it is. I want to say from sifting sand in the waterlog sieve. But if we can get turtles like this and breed enough of them, I think we will get enough, uh, enough scoot. How much do we need? We would need 12, we would need 48 scoot. So we'd have to breed a lot of turtles. But I don't think having a lot of turtles is a downside. In fact, I think it would be cool. Hey, hey. We got a turtle. Nice. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what I was going to I guess it just has to be maybe near water. You know, I put those uh, those recipes in the wrong machine. I meant to put them in the uh, in the pulverizer. Uh, okay. What did I use it all on? Oh, I made a ton of nether bricks. Fantastic. That's what you get when you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Hey, it's time we got a little baby. It'll take a little while to grow up, but we will get scoot from it. Now let's see. I think we need seagrass to uh, to breed them. Let's see if we have anything I can make it besides a sieve. Waterlogged sieve only, or uh, or botany pot, I guess. But we don't have any to begin with, do we? We have 42 seagrass. That's interesting. That's a lot. I don't think that's most of the way there. Okay, seagrass problem solved. It wouldn't plant on the sandstone, but it sure does on the coral. And what you can do, I didn't... <laughs> what you can do is you can uh, use bone meal on it. I'm really trying not to kill you guys. You're not making it easy on me. Use the bone meal and then you can clip it and I think you get two? I got one there anyway. Um, maybe this won't make it renewable. How many is- okay yeah that was definitely two. Oh they went in the backpack. I have this turned back on because it was farming. Again. So let's get our first heart. There. That's- whoops. So that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, this is how we're going to deal with the seagrass problem. Another kind of seed we're going to have to make for a quest is ice seeds. And I believe we can... T yeah, okay. There are the particle effects. We can use the uh, tear daisy to turn water into snow. Nice. And we just need uh, four snow blocks. And once we've got our snow, we should, yeah, be able to throw it in the mana pool and get some ice, and then we can make our ice tea. Anyway, next thing on the menu is uh, honey seeds. Now, for some reason, uh, we are able to get honeycombs 
from candleberries. At least I, I think that's what this was telling me. Um, yeah. So I figure we'll probably start recycling some of this stuff. We have enough melons at this point to uh, <laughs> replace all of the grass blocks with melons and then stop. So we'll just uh, put the candleberries in there and give the candleberries in what has turned out to be a unreasonably too large <laughs> storage system. I thought I was going to have uh, all the pans crops in here too, but since we only have so many hearts we can gain from the spice of life in this, there's, you know, maybe probably got all what we need. Now, rubber seeds are easy enough to make. We just need to make the rubber. And we probably will use a little bit of this stuff for, uh... Okay, so let's make some water bucket. Oh, we don't have a recipe for that. Let's, let's make a recipe for water bucket. So it's just vines and uh, there we go. That's, uh, that's where you get the rubber for your rubber seeds from. We'll get into uh, what that's useful for probably. Maybe we'll replace this power cell down here with uh, the high-end thermal cell. Now what we can do with the honeycombs from the candle berries is uh, something called a centrifuge. And I think we're going to end up needing a few of these, so I programmed it in. Uh, we can power this thing. Uh, let's uh, make a good amount of honeycombs here. I'm not going to program this in because we don't need this for long. Uh, let's make some more glass bottles. Oops. Now we're going to park it up here and for the time being. And put some bottles in, put some honeycombs in, get some power, and uh, let's see what we get here. Hey, honey bottle. Exactly what we need. As promised, I do want to upgrade our uh, power storage. This is the, whoops, this is the, the next tier. Oh, we haven't made the recipe for the niotic crystal. This is the next tier of the, uh, the Hawa uh, batteries, upgrades, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't really want to make them. Let's start with one. Oh, we don't have quite enough niotic crystal essence. Okay, that's fine. So this is uh, this isn't the fastest centrifuge, but we did get uh, some honey bottles out of it, which should be enough to make four of these, with which we can make our honey seeds and not have to worry about uh, getting vanilla bees. Meanwhile, we have gotten our first piece of vibranium, so that's cool. As I'm sort of expanding the uh, platform here. I want to uh, to make my life easier, so I'm going to make a building gadget. Um, it's, it's not too bad, it's just some, uh, some diamonds and a little bit of redstone, iron lapis, and you can charge this up right in the energetic infuser where we charge up a uh, jetpack. And the way this thing works is pretty cool. So we're just going to extend this out a little bit. That's fine. Now we want to shift click on the block that we want to place. In this case, I, I want to place dirt. And that might just be too far away. Let's see what the options are set up as. Um, building gadgets. Uh, over materialist. 
settings menu is G. Oh, that's my jetpack. Um, let's reset that. And my hover mode uh, is fine. And G is also <laughs> the bobbles in the cell. Okay, it's gonna take a minute. Okay, finally got it. Um, what I want is uh, his build to me. Yes. And okay, there it is. So that's just a little bit too far away. But what we can do now is uh, place some blocks like this. Which is a lot faster than doing them by hand. Still a little far away from this. And you can see how much uh, easier this is going to make our lives. Just got our first piece of unobtainium. Unobtainium! We're getting to the point where we have way too much of some of this stuff, so... In the drawers, that is. So we're gonna make a void upgrade. Some storage drawers here. It's just obsidian. And another upgrade. And that means the... Any of that item in the system over what the drawer can hold will just be deleted. And that's going to be a wonderful thing to do. I can never spell upgrade with the sky stone dust, for which I have some 12,000, some ridiculous number, yeah, 14,000. Um, that'll be plenty. Especially since we have to make some sky stone seeds. And the way you get the sky stone is with the sky stone dust in the stone barrel with some lava. We finally gathered up enough ender pearls to make uh, our enderman seeds, which is really cool. I'm glad I didn't have to summon any endermen. And this is really going to help us out because ender pearls are used in a lot of recipes in this. Nice. Alright, so we've got a bunch of mob resources without uh, killing a single mob, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm going to do some work expanding the platform here, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.